What's up, YouTube? Knight's Edge here. Uh, doing a little unboxing. Knife I got today. Um, take a look at it. First of all, if uh, you're not liked and subscribed to the channel, if you're not liked the video and subscribed to the channel, please do that. It helps me out a lot, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Um, appreciate all the views you guys have been giving me, all the likes, all the comments, everything. It, it really means a lot. And um, can't believe I'm up to whatever I'm up to now, 300 and, 300 and something, anyway. Um, to a lot of channels, that's like, uh, they get that in 10 minutes or a day or something like that. But, I mean, that's a lot to me, so I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to put that out there real quick. Uh, anyway, go ahead and open her up. And we got a Rosecraft. Now this is oh, a little sticker. Moderns and traditionals. They do a lot of uh, traditional knives too. <laughs> Came with like a little uh, Jolly Rancher. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and put that back in. Put that back in there. Alright, so what we got here. I thought it looked really cool on the uh, website. And uh, also, I, I believe Big Red had a uh, discount code for this one, I think. Um, this is uh, the Rosecraft uh, OG, Ogie, I think. I don't know how you, I don't know if you said Ogie or OG. But uh, I thought it had a really neat little uh, blade shape on it. And for the price, man, I mean, this thing's uh, normally what I got it for. Uh, I got it for $24.99, I think. And it normally, let's see, let me look it up. Yeah, it normally goes for uh, 55 $54.99. So, got it off their website, Rose, Rosecraft Blades. Um, be sharp, stay sharp. Rosecraft Blades is a, a female design and uh, own knife company. I believe uh, that was one of their, one of their big things when they came out. And uh, that's a pretty cool thing. So, anyway, I, I thought it was pretty cool to uh, support them, and, and I like their I like their knives. And they got a lot of pretty cool looking knives. If you guys want to go check them out? They're RosecraftBlades.com. But this is the OG OG. I'm gonna say OG because it sounds cooler. Pretty really nice looking knife. Got a nice texture on the G10. I like that. Boarded out for uh, left-handed carry. I like that. That's good. I mean, I'm not left-handed, but it's appreciated. It shows that uh, they put a little extra thought into it. Let me get this paper off here. Get that out the way. Um, yeah, so it's got a G10 contoured handle. Um, nice pocket clip. Looks like it'd be fairly comfortable pocket clip. I believe that's uh, is that like a kind of coated stainless maybe, right there. I don't, it's, it's not titanium. Uh, it's a backspacer, which is good right there. That kind of keeps a lot of your gunk out from getting inside of the pivot and stuff like that. So that's always a good thing. I appreciate a backspacer on a knife. It's a flipper, nice little flipper flipper tab right there go ahead and give her a flip open here oh cool <laughs> that's really neat I don't even know what you call that blade chip I mean it's like a sheep's foot combined with a worn cliff but uh it's got a I guess you call it a compound grind right because I mean you got the flat here swedges down here and swedges down here so I, I call that compound grind there's more of an uh just a hollow grind for sure going on there and uh, i kind of like the little stub nose looking blade shape of it i thought that was pretty cool one of the reasons i got it feels nice in the hand 
Chinese made knife, but uh, I don't really uh, I don't really have a problem with that nowadays. Honestly, like Chinese knives are the manufacturing quality is just going up and up and up. Even the cheaper ones are are better and better. You know, I mean, so VV, CRG, CRJB, all of them, they're putting out some some really good quality knives. Uh, D2 steel, I believe, on the blade. I don't see it anywhere. But it is D2. If I remember right. But uh, this is just an unboxing. Just open it up, taking a look at it. Uh, I wanted to share that with y'all. Never never had a Rosecraft uh, blade before, you know. Um, I'm not sure who's, uh, not sure whose maker, maker's mark that is. I don't, I don't know who the designer is. I will by the time I do the review on it. Got to carry it for a few days and uh, try it out. Pretty good looking knife. Thumb studs are comfortable on it. Liner lock. Good engagement on the liner lock. Centered up fairly well. Thumb studs are good. Good action with the thumb studs. Good action with the flipper. You can do a reverse flick on it. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's not the most comfortable thing, but you can do that. Big old thumb studs sticking out there. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm going to carry it for a few days, and uh, I'll definitely have a full review on it here in a few days. Well, go ahead while I got it. Doing the unboxing and everything, may as well go ahead and measure it. Let's see, you're looking at overall. Seven and three quarter inches. Right, seven and three quarter overall. Blade length. Um, three and three and a half. Yeah, three and three eighths. Cutting edge, you're looking at three and a quarter because you got this little uh, sharpening tool there, which is, you know, appreciated by anybody that does sharpening. Makes it a lot easier. So that's cool. I'll go ahead and uh, give you an idea how big it is. I guess get out the size comparison knife let's see here what we got yeah okay this is uh spider co shaman a 15 v shaman pivot to pivot shaman's bigger shaman's a pretty decent size little dude but uh it's not far off from it though a lot more slender but I give you an idea of the length and broadness of it anyway, if you've handled a salmon, but I'll do some more size comparisons in my, uh, in my full review of it. Just trying to give you, you guys an idea of the size of it. Um, anyway, I think that's about it, man. You guys want to check this out, you can go to rosecraftblades.com and, uh, check out all their knives. They got a lot of cool stuff. Most of their knives aren't expensive, uh, by my definition anyway, for a knife, you know, uh, I don't think they got anything on there over a hundred, uh, I'm very, uh, very likely mistaken on that, but, uh, I'm kind of thinking they don't have anything on there that's over a hundred, they've got some, you know, like this one was only $24.99, it's on sale, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, wanted to check it out. But uh, they got moderns and they got traditionals on there. As a matter of fact, I got Bluminati Ninja gave me this. Uh, let me get it out. It's been used right now, actually. But uh, gave me this. This is the koozie. Uh, Rosecraft koozie. Modern and traditional knives. Uh, with a modern knife right there, right? With that logo but when you flip it over look at that huh it's pretty cool a different kind of logo rosecraft blades be sharp stay sharp traditional and modern with a traditional looking knife that they make on there 
So that's pretty neat, I thought. You know, um, their knives are, from what I've seen, they they're pretty neat. They got a lot of different uh, varying designs on them and stuff. But uh, that is it for the unboxing. Uh, that's the Rosecraft OG, and I'll have a full review after I carry it for a little bit and uh, see how it is. So appreciate you guys watching. This is the Knight's Edge. Like the video if you like the content. Go check out rosecraftblades.com if you want to check out one of these bad boys. Like I said, they're on sale right now for $24.99, so I don't think that's too bad. And I will see you guys on the next one.